Okay, so here we are with the dogfish, chondrichthys, right? So this is a type of shark, and I know he does not look the most beautiful he did in life, and that's because he has been preserved and uh, so that we can look at him and learn from him. Uh, they're much, much neater in life than this, but we can still see all the structures, and that's what this is all about, okay? So external anatomy first. We're looking here, and I know, so he's kind of lumpy and bumpy, and he wouldn't already look like this in life, okay? But let's just take a look at some things, okay? So like this indentation, he wouldn't have that. His nose would be straight. He would be cuter, I swear. Okay, but let's take a look at it. What do we got going on here? All right, so we definitely, let's go with what we know. This is the eye, very clear, right? And the rostrum, or the point of the nose, okay? The rostrum does contain the external nares, okay? And on the top, and sometimes I have to kind of squeeze, and I can see the liquid kind of coming out of there, that is the organs of Lorenzini, okay? That kind of, and that allows them to detect uh, the stuff going on in the water. Okay, so the organs of Lorenzini, the eye. We have the spiracle, which is an opening here behind the eye. See how the probe goes in there? It is an actual opening. Here is the mouth, the business end. We can see some teeth in there. And yeah, I could cut myself maybe on these teeth if I really tried hard. Okay, so now it knows. When it comes to the fins, a diagram is gonna be better. But they do have all the fins, right? So we have the pectoral fins, the ones on the side to keep it from rolling. We have the dorsal fin. So we have an anterior dorsal fin and a posterior dorsal fin and then a caudal fin. This caudal fin, as we can see how it's bigger on one side, very characteristically shark, right? Uh, that is called a heterocecal tail where it's bigger on one side than on the bottom side, okay? And we should have anal fins. Yes, we do. And you're like, what's this red stuff? Okay, so again, this is a preserved specimen. And so they've been injected with latex. And so this is a rubber and the uh, arteries are injected red and the veins are injected blue. And it's a little gruesome on the outside, but this again is, we're using this animal for study. So we're trying to learn everything we can from them uh, so that their life was not a waste, right? We're trying to, and I reuse this animal quite a bit. As you can see, he's already been cut open and dissected. Uh, when I pet the skin, right, if I move this way, it's very smooth and soft. And if I go the other way, if you can hear that, it sounds like sandpaper. Okay, those are the pectorals, or excuse me, the, um, Oh, and I just lost the name of the scale. Uh, that is the skin, and so the scales on the skin uh, are pointing this direction, so when I go backwards, I'm grabbing all the little hooks on the skin, so they have a very rough uh, feel to the skin. Going that way, but not this way. Okay, interesting. Okay, that's enough for external anatomy. Next will be internal anatomy.